Hi. Welcome to Love Ever Ever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cappies. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well. Ghosts, have you been taking care of yourselves? Shout out to the beautiful soul family. Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. And welcome, welcome back to the ones that are new here. It is a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for stopping by, loves. All right. And be sure to adjust your bells so that way you are aware, loves, when I do go live on this platform for all Zodiac sign readings. All right. And welcome back to my returning beautiful souls. Thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback down below. I appreciate you, loves. All right. We're going to focus this week, Capricorn, on love and romance. All right. We're going to see what's going on in your love life, Capricorn. What needs to be said? What do you need to be aware of? And most importantly, what messages do your spirit team here at Capricorn have for you today? All right, so come on in, smash that like button, Capricorns, and let's talk about this thing called love. Yes, love, 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 goats is in the air. So let's see what's coming towards you, Capricorn, for love and romance. Let's see what we have in my Capricorn. What's coming towards Capricorn for love and romance? Uh-oh. Okay, we got the Seven of Swords. Capricorn wasn't expecting this energy here. So I'm sure you may was not expecting this or will not be expecting this type of communication here coming in the near future. Um, now, this could be someone strategizing or planning a particular opportunity to come towards you. But normally this card here indicates betrayal, uh, someone that may be trying to get away with something or acting um, like, you know, pretending that they're someone that they're not or pretending that something is the truth, but it's not. There is definitely some type of energy here of trickery. OK, um, this could be an air sign here, Capricorn, Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra here. OK. Wow. Let's dive into this energy here, Capricorn. Let's see what this is about. Who is this and what do you need to know? Clarify the seven of swords, guardian angels, ancestors. Thank you for the divine insight here. What do we have for Capricorn? Why do we have this energy here in Capricorn's energy? Why do we have this person in Capricorn's energy here, guardian angels, ancestors? Clarify the seven of swords please again this could be an air sign aquarius a gemini a libra now we have here the two of swords and we have aquarius energy here okay again so aquarius could be very significant here capricorn and then we have the two of pentacles so someone here was juggling a situation here all right right this is someone from their past or this is someone new all right but we definitely know that they were with someone doing some things that was not right, that wasn't true. Um, this person could have been juggling more than one situation or circumstance or trying to live two different lifestyles here. Something that they was keeping a mask about and not being honest, I feel like, here, Capricorn, with you. Okay, let's clarify the two of pentacles. So let's see exactly what this person was juggling or trying to maintain two different type of lifestyles or they could have been trying to maintain a relationship here with you capricorn and maintain a relationship with someone else at the same time okay clarify the two of pentacles here why do we have the two of pentacles here for capricorn please why do we have the two of pentacles we got judgment all right some of you are this person here was having a judgment call here, okay? They had to go within and listen to their intuition on behalf of whatever behavior pattern that this is. This is something that was not fair, okay? This was something that was injustice here while the judgment card is here. Something here that this person was doing behind your back that I feel like that they wasn't being honest with you about Capricorn and you may found this out about this person and called this person out on this situation here. Um, some of y'all, this particular person here 
could be an earth sign like yourself. They could be a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn here. All right, let's see what this judgment call here was. Let's see what was their inner higher self trying to communicate with them about because whatever it was, they obviously avoided their intuition here, Capricorn. This person didn't want to just either settle with one person or commit to one person. They maybe was wanting to commit to two different energies or two different people, which is nothing wrong with that. But what comes a problem when this person does not communicate this to you, Capricorn, or this is not what some of you all even agreed to. So it's like, that's where you stepping over the boundaries. That's where you stepping over the lines. That's where you're doing things out of coronation here. Clarify the seven of swords, please. Tell me more. We got the world cards here, a completion. So the good news about this situation here is, is that this behavior pattern or this connection with this person has now come to an end. So it looks like you were able to pass a karmic test here, Capricorn. Um, this was definitely not by accident. This was something that you were meant to go through and learn and evolve from Capricorn. So definitely take this relationship or this experience as a opportunity where you were able to evolve and become a better virgin and this person help you to do that with you having to do things on your own or rely for yourself on your own when it came to this commitment here this person may have done something that was very overwhelming very draining to the relationship here so this is where it looks like i do see you decide to put things here to an end and go on your path to heal and become a better version of yourself so i do see those positive results out of this negative energy here clarify the star card please why do we have the star card here for Capricorn? wow Capricorn, if the messages here so far is resonating for you smash that like button loves and be very much appreciated let's clarify the star card here Why don't we have the star card here, please? Wow, the Ace of Swords, the truth, got a mental clarity about this person's behavior because some of y'all, you gave this person multiple chances, multiple opportunities and ways where they could fix this situation and get things right with you in this connection. But someone, again, they avoided listening to their intuition here. With the judgment card, they continued on to do things and portray you behind your back. And so some of y'all just had that breaking point and you said enough is enough at this point. I can no longer entertain something or someone that's not wanting to put in the same effort, the same time, the same love into this connection here. Wow. I am so sorry about this Capricorn, but I know this has definitely taught you a lesson where you can look back on this situation and be glad of the experience and be happy for where you're going and where you're headed towards here, okay? Wow, so let's see what this person here wants to say. We're going to close out with using my Raw Tarot Index cards here. Shout out to the OnlyFans page. If you're new here and you would love to join the OnlyFans page, that is where I do post daily energy check-ins. We're only using the cards here and doing all of the zodiac signs, okay? So let's go ahead here, Cat Bees, and let's see what they want to say. Wow, we got um, I Believe You. And wow, and then we have I'm Not Going Back There Anymore, Capricorn. Yeah, so this was clearly what was going on here. This person... As we mentioned with that two of pentacles, this was someone that was trying to maintain two different lifestyles, was trying to date two different people at the same time and balance two different households when there were children and things of that sort that was involved. And this point, this person now realizes that I can't go back for some of you all. They now have to deal with whatever choices here that they made here in the past, right? Wow, Capricorn, I'm going to leave this portion of the reading here, but if you would love to book a personal reading, Capricorn, so we can get more insight, more details, so we can see definitely what the potential outcome is for you and this person, or just what's next in love for you. 
My email details is down below in the description box. And if you would love for more exclusive perks and discounts on this channel, come on over to the Patreon family. That is where I do provide discount on your personal readings. You'll get free questions every time I go live and also early access to my content here on the channel. Definitely, if that's something that you're interested in, Capricorn, the link for the homepage is on my channel as well, all right? Thank you all so much. I appreciate you, and I definitely look forward to the next energy check-in, all right? Bye-bye.